Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome to my channel. In today's story, OP's sister-in-law moves in with OP and their husband. This was when the sister-in-law was experiencing some really tough times. However, it's now been a while since they moved in and they're a horrible living guest. I really feel bad for OP in this one. I do hope that you enjoy this story. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Anyways, on to the story. My husband's sister moved into our home for a temporary amount of time, but now she refuses to leave. To give some context beforehand, when my husband and I were building our new home, the house we currently own and reside in now, we had to stay with my in-laws. They were nice enough to ease that bit of financial burden on us while our home was being built. During the time there, my husband's sister, who's a 22-year-old female, was living there with two of her kids and one baby on the way. Well, least to say, I hated living there, especially around her. She's messy, dirty, doesn't pick up after herself or her kids, she doesn't clean around the home, doesn't contribute to any of the household income, nothing. She's never had a job and doesn't even know how to drive, so for obvious reasons, she doesn't have an income. Fast forward to my husband and I living in our new five-bedroom home. His sister ended up moving in with her baby daddy. We thought they were doing fine until she came crying to us, literally knocking at our doorstep in the middle of the night, saying that baby daddy kicked her out because he's tired of her. I felt so bad for her. We let her stay at our place. I asked her what happened and she said he's done. So her baby daddy and I aren't the closest, but I did ask him if everything was okay, just because she has a tendency to lie sometimes. And then baby daddy said that he was tired of coming home to a dirty home, to eat fast food all the time because she doesn't know how to cook, to have their son constantly sick because all they eat is ramen and fast food. He's tired of it. He told me that he shouldn't have to work 12 hours a day and come home to a mess, nothing cooked, etc. Before she moved in with baby daddy, I encouraged my husband's sister to learn how to cook and told her that I could teach her, but she declined. It's now been two months since we let her stay at our house. Luckily, it's big enough, but she doesn't pull her weight around the home. I'm tired of waking up to screaming kids while I'm currently pregnant myself. I'm tired of seeing the living room a mess while she sleeps in late until 1pm. I'm tired of her freeloading off of our stuff. I refuse to cook more than I have to. I let her figure it out for herself. My husband buys her food or fast food, but I told him not to do that. I told him it's not our or his responsibility to have to be providing for the babies either. The babies I'll give a snack to. I'll make sure that they're eating right, but it's still not my responsibility. I told my husband that I was tired of it, and he said that there was nothing he could do because that's his sister. I told him that she could go live with either one of his parents since they're divorced and she has plenty of options and family, but she says that she doesn't want to be a handful for them because of the kids. Well, frankly, she's a handful for me too. In one instance, there was a handful of dirty dishes that have been stacking up for the day while my husband and I worked. They were all from her and the babies. I was so mad that I washed them all and she asked if I was nesting. Some of our family members came unexpectedly, and in front of them all I said, No, I'm not nesting. I'm cleaning up the dirty dishes you've let yourself accumulate and not take care to even wash. She gave me the dirtiest of looks. I've told my husband to talk to her about leaving, and she won't leave. She just won't. I told him that it's either me and the family that he's decided to create with me, or his sister. I told him that until she's not out of this house, I'll be leaving and I won't be coming back. It's begun to take such a toll on my marriage with my husband. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm not sure what to do anymore. How do I make her leave my home? How do I make my husband understand that I don't want her here? She's not my responsibility. First of, thank you all for the advice and suggestions. I sat down with a lawyer and talked about if it's possible for the sisters to be considered a tenant and if so, can we charge rent? Well, luckily in my state, my sister-in-law isn't considered a tenant, 
so I would not have to charge rent. I also wouldn't have to serve her with any type of tenant eviction as there is no binding contract. Because of this, I've obtained a notarized letter that is allowing her 30 days to pick up her things and leave. I'm being courteous enough in giving her that much time. I've decided to do this before sitting down and speaking to my husband about the issue. After I obtained the notarized letter, I spoke with my husband. I told him how I felt about my home looking like a mess, how I shouldn't be having to take care of his sister and children, being pregnant, and how she should be responsible enough to be able to take care of herself. We both agreed to sit down with her and to talk to her. The next day, as we sat down and talked with her after we got home from running some errands, I let him talk. I let him tell her that she was no longer welcome in our home. He told her the reasons, i.e. being a snob, not picking up after her children, not contributing to our household in any way, and making my pregnancy a living hell. I realized how it sort of pained him to have to tell her that, but it's something she needed to know. While having this discussion, she retaliated and said that she was being quote-unquote attacked and wouldn't leave because she didn't have anywhere else to go. I told her that she did. She could go to my in-laws, other family members, but inside my home to live in, she was no longer welcome. She made the snarky comment of saying, you're going to toss me out in the middle of a pandemic? And I said, yes, yes I am. I told her that she has people to go to and to live with, that my home wasn't her new nesting ground and that she should have thought about the comment she just made when her baby daddy kicked her out. I pulled out the eviction notice and I told her that she has 30 days to get her stuff together or I'm going to be calling the cops to have her removed from my home. My husband wasn't too proud of it and was mad that I would actually serve her with the notice. I told him right in front of my sister-in-law that if she doesn't leave in 30 days, that I will and he will not be allowed to see me or the baby until she is out of the house. I told him that I didn't bust my behind so that she could enjoy the luxuries and commodities that I've been working so hard to enjoy myself. She won't have her own room at my in-laws. Oh well, go get some experience working and get an apartment. Can't keep baby daddy to stay with you because you can't seem to learn how to cook or clean or have any basic sense of maintaining a household. Should have thought of that before opening your legs and deciding to get pregnant again with a third child. All in all, she's been served with an eviction notice and I have packed my bags in case she doesn't leave. I've taken pictures of valuable items in my home and pictures of her current living situation. The dirty rooms, the mess she leaves lying around the house for days, the kids not being fed a proper meal, everything. My lawyer has recommended that if she does not leave and my husband decides to have her stay and he'd be responsible, then I should consider filing for divorce. I set my foot down and I listened to you all. Thank you again for your comments and supportive advice. I'll keep you updated as the situation progresses. I'm so sorry to have kept you all waiting for this situation regarding my sister-in-law. Here's the last and final update on the situation. Soon after I gave her the notice, I got the cold shoulder from her and my husband for about a week or so. I absolutely hated having to sleep beside my husband knowing that he disliked what I did. Eventually, he came around and realized what this was doing to our family when in an instance he was working from his office and the babies were out in the living room crying non-stop and she was in her room while talking on the phone. That's when he saw and realized that she was being neglectful and realized the rift that this was causing in our family and knew that something needed to be done about it. During this time, the sister-in-law wasn't talking to me at all. She posted comments about me on social media and tried in a way to drag me for the decisions that I made regarding her living situation. Well, family members who were aware of the situation sent me screenshots and I kept it for court records if necessary about what she was saying about me online. Calling me toxic and that I thought that I was better than everyone else because I had everything and if it weren't for her brother, my husband, that I wouldn't have what I have now. Well, not that it matters, but I'm very well set off with the business that I decided to run two years ago, so I don't need your brother's money. But nice try. I did gather some informational packages about childcare and where she could go and drop off her children for free and some well-trusted places and so on so that she can get a job and attempt to make some progress, but she threw them out. I tried. At around maybe the 25-ish day was when she moved out and her baby daddy ended up taking her back in. 
I had the locks to my home changed and was able to restore some peace in my home. My husband's family had mixed feelings about the situation and how it was handled, but if no one else was going to show her some tough love or be responsible for their own blood acting like this, then I don't know who would. It was so easy for some to judge when they weren't even willing to help her out at all. It really sucks that it went this far and that my husband only gets to see his nephew on occasions, but I guess better me than blood family, right? If it were my Hispanic family members in this position, they would have been booted out of their household without hesitation until they figured it out, and that's the kind of tough love that I grew up with. Sounds a bit harsh, but definitely does work. I don't know, I feel somewhat bad, but I also would never take advantage of someone else's hospitality the way she did. I'm coming up very close to my due date, and as I get bigger and a little bit more unable to do much around the house, I'm just glad it's clean. Thank you all once again for riding in this journey with me, and if by any reason there are any future updates, I'll let you know. So guys, what did you think about this? Honestly, this story made my blood boil. I genuinely hate entitled people, and this sister-in-law was entitled to her bones. Like, what? This sister-in-law reminds me of a guest that I once had who not only overstayed their welcome, but definitely took advantage of me financially during that time. And because of that, this story really hits close to home. If you ever have someone like that in your life, just set your boundaries, learn to say no, and learn to do what OP did and just kick them out of your life. Because there is no way that someone else should be taking advantage of you like that. Anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed this story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories from Reddit with updates.